Welcome to the Clinical Cookout. Cookout. Hey y'all, Auntie Ashley the Clinical Cookout here. And I am here to wrap up our theme for this week, which was emotionality in children. So let's talk about it. You know what? Honestly, I don't have a big lesson to teach for this. I have four children of my own. And something that I often tell myself in order to be able to deal with my children's emotions is that I was a child before and I remember what it was like to be a child. I try to think back to moments when I felt like my parents or elders in my life didn't understand my emotions or made me feel like they were invalidating my emotions. So thinking about that, I think back to how did little me feel? That's inner child work, just to let y'all know. When you think about the inner child you and how little you felt, what little you needed, that's some inner child work. And if we did more inner child work, we would be able to deal with our children's emotions a lot better. So that being said, think about when you were young. It wasn't that long ago where you done forgot. Think about when you were young. Think about the emotions you felt, the big emotions you felt that you maybe couldn't verbalize or didn't even understand. And what did you want your parents or the elders in your life to say to you? How did you want them to show up for you? How did you want to be supported as a child? or an adolescent. Think about that. The best thing we can do for our children is show up for them the way that they need it and not the way that we think that they need it. Same with adults, honestly. Show up for people in general the way that they need it versus how you think they need it. And remember, children are literally just smaller human beings. We don't get to say that because they're children, their emotions don't matter or their emotions aren't important or they can't possibly be feeling this thing. They're human beings, still. It's an age, it's a developmental stage of life. It does not mean they don't feel big feelings. It doesn't mean that they don't go through things. I hear too many people say all the time, what what these kids going through? Wait till you become an adult. Well, our kids are going through a lot. There are a lot of kids being diagnosed with anxiety, depression, all sorts of things. There are a lot of kids who are self-harming. There are a lot of kids struggling for all sorts of reasons. Times are different, and although there's nothing new under the sun, we got a lot of things now that we didn't have back in the day. Back in my day, back in my mama's day, my grandmama's day. So I want y'all to really take a moment and realize children are just human beings in a different developmental stage. That's it and that's all. So how you need to be validated and seen and heard when it comes to your emotions, it's exactly how children need to be validated when it comes to their emotions. And if you keep that in mind, we might fare better dealing with these kids and their emotions. All right, y'all. Have a beautiful, wonderful rest of the weekend. And we will see y'all next week at the Clinical Cookout.